away inside. So that means <laughs> I got to keep refilling my Baja. So like I was loaded up on Baja too, my nigga. Like for real, it was it was great as my that yeah. in that day. She looks like a bitch talking to us. <laughs> I'm about here. Because it's a it's a it's a disembodied bit a voice coming yeah. from the disembodied voice coming from the bed. Why do you why do you sound so far away? Why are you in your bed? Because I don't fucking because I had shit set up and I didn't. Wanna... It's not it's not going through your headphones. You know that, right? It's not. No, it's, it's definitely going through. going through wherever your camera is. Oh, son of a bitch! So you hear this? Oh, uh, actually, I don't. Where so? So you hear this? Is it going through your snowball? Yes, that it's going. Well, through I that. I had totally like set that up not to do that. Like, well, apparently it didn't work. Chase, why do you look like the guy from the Burt's Bees box? Because <laughs> because you make me, Sam. It's, it's, <laughs> the, um, it's, 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 it says microphone. Like it was designed by one of the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. So <laughs> it's a, it's a you can tell you country as fuck dog. That's some that's some country ass shit. The the flowers with the with the flower accent pillows, my dude. That's some country ass shit. Well, and we, if you do a party. Well, anyway, yeah. Can you guys not hear me good? <laughs> uh, no, I mean we hear you. You still sound, you sound far away though. But oh, I well, mean we, we just. I don't think it's Please. that way on the show, but like, but anyway, why do you why do you sound so fucking defeated right now? Like, what's going on, dog? <sighs> you got a lot going on. Yeah, is that is that's all you can say right now? Yeah, I, I can say I can say some shit. I can say some shit, Scar. You can say some shit. Did yeah. I need you to say some shit? Because you sound real fucking defeated right now. Maybe. You sound like you just got fucking. You sound like you just got finished playing Dark Souls. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls. Just <laughs> ass. Yeah, Dark Souls just kicked my ass. You know what? You, you know what you look like. You look like like what's his name from uh, <laughs> from the uh, uh, what was it uh, the Breaking Bad movie. After they went off the cage and he got out. Are we live yet? Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. Are we live? We live? I believe so. I don't I don't I don't see it on YouTube yet. Let me let me try the long way. He looks like Jesse after Jesse escaped. No, nah, man, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and this is this is gonna sound real fucked up. But um he looked like he got Medi-Cal. Like <laughs> <I'm> Medi-Cal. <laughs> <laughs> but th- just because I have a belly. Oh yeah, we are live. Hey, what, what, why are you doing that on live, bro? We live. I just <laughs> pulled it up. We are actually live. Hey, Uno, put your keep your clothes. Why, you, why the fuck would you do that, <laughs> bro? Did that happen in each car? You were playing Uno, and all of a sudden, just pain us. Yeah, pain you us. know what, man? I, I'm not told my Uno story in a while. Like, yo. Oh no! Is a real is a real fucked up place. I don't know if a place like that in video gaming exists anymore. In order for people to like understand how fucked up Uno was, like, I, did you ever play Uno on the three hundred and sixty, Chase? Um, not with the 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 people that you guys play with. <laughs> No, I play mostly with the public. <laughs> I play mostly with the public, and that led to my downfall. So let let me tell this story because I ain't told it in a while. All right, all right. So like, so like playing Uno on the three sixty uh, broke me for real. Like I used to love playing Uno. This is back when I first got a three sixty, and I didn't really have a whole lot of games. I had like the the stuff that Major Nelson sucked me into. I had uh, Oblivion, which I hated, um, and I, you know, I had, I had Uno. And then, like, eventually when Puzzle Quest came out, I was all about that. But, like, I had Uno and I played Uno every night. And, like, there was a, there was, like, a couple people that I met playing Uno. Like, it was like some, some dude, some dude, his mom was playing on his, uh, his gamer tag or whatever. And, like, we became, like, me and the mom became friends playing Uno and shit like that. And, like, we would play, like, almost every night. Just, just, 
going room to room, and we started meeting friends. But usually, it was like three of us on at a time. So, like, there was always an odd person out. So, if we were going to play online, like, we had to go to the public to invite somebody else in to play. Then they added camera. Like, they added the camera shit after the fact, and it fucked up everything. Because like people started doing dumb shit, and I'm gonna tell you what actually what actually broke me. So we were playing Uno, and everything was normal. We invited it was the same the same two people I play with all the time, and we had to go to the wilds, and we played a couple of games. Everything was cool. Then we played the game, and the camera showed up, and it was two dudes sitting on the couch. And they had this kind of weird grin on their face. And I'm just kind of like, okay, why y'all got this grin on their face? So, you know, they waited until the actual game started. Like, we got everything. We started actually playing the game. And once we started playing the game, one of the two dudes on the couch whipped his dick out. And the other guy started jacking it. I was done at that point. I, I quit that fucking game. And I have not touched Uno since. I like except for if like if I had a full room of like friends, like we played a couple times after. Yeah, that. you've told but that have, you've told that story before, but like, I yeah, I I mean I never like hardly play <laughs> with randoms on regular fucking games. I'm not playing with randoms with a with with a camera involved. It's just not happening. Yeah, I mean, I was playing with randoms and everything was fine until the cameras got involved. Until that update that allowed the cameras, it fucked everything up. Everything was great. I was meeting friends. I mean, I ain't, I mean, I ain't really have a whole lot of friends at that point because that was before I was a podcaster. So like, you know, like, you know, once I became a podcaster, like my friends list like fucking ballooned, but like, that shit, that shit was harmful to me. Like that shit hurt because I really like playing Uno, and like, and I think later on they they had a setting where you could say if you got a camera, you can't fuck with me. But like until that shit came out, like I wasn't, I definitely wasn't gonna be able to play that game, and it sucked because I really like playing Uno. I can't even remember the gamer tag of the lady that that we used to play Uno all the time with the the, the kids' mama. We used to just run Uno, like having all kinds of fun. Shit's fucked up. I can't even play Uno with my dog no more. Cause your dog be jacking people off. Yeah, I mean, and that wasn't like it wasn't even like that was the only dick I saw. Like people were just like, like starting off the game, like the game starts and somebody whips their dick out. Like this shit just kept happening, and it was just dicks. Like ain't nobody showed no breasts or anything like that. I mean, I wouldn't have had that much of a problem at the time with that, but like it was just dicks. Like if it was something else, if it was something else, I would have been all right. But it was just dicks. That shit hurt me, dog. It still hurt because I I really like playing Uno. But I guess we should start the show. I guess we already started the show, so we're just gonna keep talking. Did y'all don't hear me because I'm because you like, muted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we we're saying how uh, a friend of mine on Twitter just posted it should be illegal to have fast food restaurant commercials on during snowstorms. I'm not dying for you, Red Lobster, but I might. <laughs> Lobster fest. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, God. Why? Uh, uh, inside jokes. Uh, we're gonna be like Gamer Tag Radio. Um. <laughs> uh, so welcome to the show. We've already started. I'm Scarfinger. Uh, Sam and Chase is kind of lounging today, uh, showing his feet. I would really wish he would put some socks on. Chase but, was, uh, you know, to paint him like one of his French girls. Uh, 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 please no. Get exercise. No, God. no, dog. I mean, we. I don't need to see. Like, the, I don't need to see the dude from Burt's Bees like that. Come on, stop. <laughs> Oh uh, man, so like Thanksgiving happened. Yep. Not for me. Huh? Not for me. Thanksgiving didn't happen for you? I thought but but like the worst thing is you work retail. So like Thanksgiving oh, was like, uh, me wanting to fight dudes it happened to me. Really? All right. No, it wasn't so- that bad, but it was just like really annoying. All right, regale us. I, I mean, without saying who you work for. I mean, I know who you work for, but they shouldn't. They should not. No, uh, no. It was uh, it was it was uh, Thanksgiving, and 
pretty much it's like an opportunity for everyone to, everyone to be an asshole. You know, and I thought, I, thought, I, was, I, was I, I was an asshole back. I, I did not care. I did not want to be there. They could send me home. I didn't give a shit. So did you have to work on Thanksgiving? Yes. It is a, it is a requirement of the job. Yeah. Um, you know, I can't remember. I think it was Bubba. Um, when he was an angry man, man, he used to work for like H.H. H. Gregg. Ain't all, all, ain't all the H.H. H. Gregg's closed? That might be a thing. Uh, it was a, it's a, like a, 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 a electronic store. It's like, it's like a, H.H. H. Gregg is like a Circuit City type joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where service is state of the art. Yeah, yeah, where, where it was, is like one of those type places and I think they went out of business just like Circuit City. But, um, but, um, one year he worked and he had, he worked Black Friday. Do you know they made them go to, um, they made them go, uh, Thanksgiving night and they basically had to stay overnight and take shifts and they had places for them to lay down in the back because oh, they were not allowed to leave on Black Friday. Wow. Like they, were, they, were not a, they were not allowed to leave. That shit was mandatory. Like you had to show up Thursday night and like Black Friday was 100% mandatory. If you wanted to keep your job, you stayed there all fucking day on Black oh, Friday. It was like they opened the doors at like 2 a.m. or something, right? That's it was, yeah, it was, it was something like that. It was, it was, it was something Sometimes weird like that. Do it. And then they just kept on pushing the time back. The last year, it was, the last two years I was there, it was like 6 o'clock. But it, now it's 5 o'clock. But is I'm it like, even really a thing gonna be, anymore? Soon it's going to come to a time where we're going to be there all day. Because everybody I know is like, I don't know anybody that has ever been like, I'm getting out on Black Friday. Everybody I've ever known has said, I'm, I don't do that shit. You know, I, I know people who care about Black Friday, and they all have the same story. And this is the same shit that happens every year. And I just told I just told my girl about this. Um, but like, why the fuck does everybody need a TV on Black Friday every fucking year? That's when, like, the, sales, that's when the sales are. Yeah, but like, do you, the same person wants a fucking TV every year? Every year. My boss just bought a fucking 70 inch after buying another fucking TV or over the course of last year. He bought a fucking TV and he gave a, a TV away. He gave like a 60 inch fucking flat screen away and bought a fucking, uh, bought another TV and then Black Friday came around and he was like, ooh, 70 inch. Like, you just bought a fucking TV months ago. It's the same people who care about hashtag all them peas. Yo, with him, he's not even a, he's not even a, a game. He's an old man. He's like sixty years old. Like he cares. He cares. He, he wants to each each year. He wants the TV to match his age in inches. Yeah, he wants fucking like. Chase, no on, one can hear you. Come on, uh, well, we we can't hear him, but I think the the recording will hear him better. But um, uh, ho- ho- hopefully, but um, but he like go over there and punch him in the face. Yeah, he want he wants to be able to watch uh, HBO go clearer. That's like his goal. His goal in life is to watch HBO go clearer. Oh, and no, like, no, that reminds me, uh, the guy who does like the the maintenance man at our job, he uh, mm-hmm. he bought he bought her a TV the other day because he wants to see, his favorite show is Home Improvement. He wants to see it in the best clarity. <laughs> Home improvement? How how can home oh, improvement no. get any clearer? Because my homeboy was like, you know, if you give this TV here, you can see, you can watch uh, Home Improvement in 4K. He's like, oh shit, that's right. How, who the fuck puts Home Improvement in 4K? Like how? how guy does. Who the fuck thinks that that's a thing that anyone should do? Like shit, it's probably still gonna be four by three. Hey, maybe maybe in 4K you can see uh, Wilson. He's just, he's just trying to um. <laughs> He's just trying to like sell it because you know we know that if you put a standard um, movie on a 4K TV, it's still going to be standard. <laughs> but he don't well, know that. But see that. But there's all this other shows that converted out of that, um, like Buffy, and the shit was terrible. Like the and people the, who did the conversion. Actually, I, I I looked at um like The Simpsons is on uh, Disney Plus. But they did the same thing, but this time they cropped it, and which which happens in like because like thirty five millimeter film 
is four by three, and then they'll like pan and do set up their shots to be wider, and then they'll cut out what they don't want, right? But um, mm-hmm. in, in the Simpsons, everything like there was certain there was this one joke I, I remember seeing to where the Duff beer, all the Duff beer went through this one pipe. And it came and split off in three other pipes and went into Duff, Duff Light, and Duff Bold or whatever. But it was all the same fucking beer. But in the crop version, you don't see that it's all one beer. So the joke is fucking lost. So and it's yeah, fucking bullshit. I, yeah, I mean, there was. You know, I'm gonna tell you how bad the fucking conversion of Buffy is. Buffy was shot in widescreen. But they knew they were going to crop it for the actual thing. So, like, there's things on the sides of the widescreen that they knew weren't going to be there, so they weren't really worried about it. Like, there are scenes in the remastered Buffy the Vampire Slayer where you can see the stunt person waiting on the side to switch out with the actor (laughs) during a fight scene. There is... There is times where you can see another camera operator on the side because they weren't worried about it because he wasn't supposed to be in the fucking screen because it was going to be, it was, and they didn't fucking, they didn't crop the shit. I mean, they didn't even like crop that out. They just fucking like, was like, hey, this well, why is the they even film. shoot it like that though? Why would they shoot it no, wide? It's even, it's even worse. Let me tell you what else is worse. They fucking, they fucking converted, um, a lot of Angel. And they did just an auto correction on the brightness. And a lot of Angel is happening during the day now. He's a fucking vampire. It's standing by a window in broad fucking daylight now because someone decided to correct the fucking brightness. And like, it's not supposed to be bright. It's night. He's a fucking vampire, dog. Like, what, what are we doing here? And like, no one, was, no one said like, um, I think this is supposed to be dark. They just did some autocorrect and just let this shit be what it is. There's like YouTube videos like devoted to all of the fucking, all of the fuck ups that they had with, uh, with Buffy and Angel, the remastered versions. It's just, it's mind boggling that fucking whoever Warner Brothers or whoever the fuck Fox or whoever the fuck let that shit happen because it's really bad there's been so many petitions to get that shit redone it's just and it's just never happened because you know they don't really care about us dog yeah. I'm sad again it's not a glitch it's a feature yep I'm sad again yeah first it was Uno now it's the Buffy um, enhanced edition like I'm, I'm really sad now I what else what else, um uh, Chase, how was your Thanksgiving? Um, it was it was actually kind of bullshit, but um, but yeah, I had uh, I was planning on going to my mom's like for lunch and then going to my dad's for supper, and then and all of a sudden around. And then we decided, we just decided not to go to my mom's because it would be, was, it wasn't really my mom's. They, they were, they did it to my aunt's and it was this big thing and it was going to be at one o'clock and we were going to eat at, at dad's at four. And I was like, it's just too fucking close together. I'm not even going to be hungry. <laughs> and then, so we were like, let's just try. Cause anyway, I sat down and immediately I started up destiny. And I immediately sit down and dad called <laughs> right when I sat down and he was like, this Kirk ain't going to cook itself, son. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, and he was like, you going to need to come over here and do this stuff. I ain't able to do it. And I was saying, like, all right, I'll be over there. So uh, I went over there and I got the turkey going. He was like, it's going to be eight o'clock before we get it. I'm like, dad, it only takes four and a half hours. It's not, it doesn't take eight He's like, I must have been thinking about the slow cooker. And I was like, well, maybe. (laughs) And then, um, I put it on and, and four o'clock rolled around and I was trying to get everything. I was like doing everything. My brother was there. He wasn't really doing anything. And then I had to go pick up Amber and them. And I was trying to like space it out. And then by the time the turkey was done, nothing else was done. So I was trying to like, I just put it on low. And I was trying to like 
make sure everything come out on time. It was like, it was like 10 o'clock before we ate and the turkey was fucking dry because it just fucking sat on warm for a while. And then, <clears throat> then people were fucking complaining and shit. And I was like the only one fucking doing anything. I was like, fuck this shit. I was like, how the fuck did grandma do this shit and have it done by like 11 o'clock in the morning? And, right. and I'm thinking that she did a lot of the shit beforehand and just like yeah, warmed you do up. A lot, you do a lot the night before. <laughs> Uh, you do you do a whole lot of it the night before and work it out that way. But yeah, especially like some of your sides that can that can actually take being rewarmed up. Um, you you get those out the way early. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I didn't Chase, think. I mean, I probably Chase, wouldn't. Can you do me a favor. What's that? Um, um, I just listened to the actual stream. Uh, you're popping a lot. Can you put your microphone above your nose? Okay, sounds good. Okay. But, uh, but, but yeah, I was like really frustrated. And then, okay, my brother's sister, who, which is from his mom, which is not my mom, but, um, and his sister's name's Katie. And I also have a sister named Katie who are not related, which is weird. But, <laughs> so, okay. so, but yeah, well, she came over and she had two, the two kids with her. And then they were, you know, Aiden's age, so they were playing, and but they were loud. And it's getting on my dad's nerves. He was like, "They need to quiet down." I, like, I can't take all this noise. And he was the one that wanted things. I was like, "Dad, there's going to be kids. There's going to be like commotion. If you didn't want, if you didn't want this, you shouldn't have like had Thanksgiving at your house, man." Like, exactly. <laughs> Like th- those people, those people always like they-, they do the same shit every year. They like want everybody to come over for Thanksgiving, and then like soon as that shit happens, they're like, "I want everybody to fucking leave." You know what I mean? Like I can't fucking take this shit. Like why the fuck did you invite us over? You could have came to my house and left whenever the fuck you wanted to. Yeah, and I then cook- I would have cooked. Obviously, I ended up cooking anyway, so I should have just fucking cooked in my house. But but yeah, I um. Yeah, I was so frustrated, and then by the time, and then Amber had to leave to take Nicole to work, and then when when she left, Riley went off, and he pretty much whined and cried the whole time that she was gone, and that was getting on his nerves, and then she had the car seat, so I could, I was about to just, just take him home, and then Dad was like, well, I guess that's over with Thanksgiving, and I was like, and then I... When, when we ate, everything was actually pretty good except for the turkey being a little dry, but it had a really good flavor because I used in a, uh, like a Cajun injector or whatnot. So the flavor was good. It was just a little, cause the last couple of years that I've done it, it's been outstanding, which, um, normally the turkey's just kind of there. Like people normally like, Oh, we have turkey because we're supposed to. And then it mostly just gets ate the next day, you know, in sandwiches or whatever. But like those past couple of times where we did the injector, it was gone mm-hmm. that night. Like it all got ate except for this wow. time because it's just the dryness. People don't like dry shit. So, but I mean, yeah, I, I don't, it. I don't dig turkey in the first place. So I could, I can't say one way or the other. I don't eat turkey, but, but yeah, so I ate and this is funny. <laughs> and then I sat down in the recliner and I went to sleep apparently. And all of a sudden I woke up at midnight. Everybody was asleep. Amber and the kids were gone. And I was like, hell. And by that time my, my knee was acting up cause I had broke my knee like 10 years ago. And, um, every now and again, it kind of like gives me problems or whatnot. And I was like, I am not sleeping in this Why freaking your knee, an arrow. <laughs> yeah. That's what, <laughs> well, um, well, I said, well, I, look, I gotta liven this shit up. Like, Chase is like really going into this, in, like, detail. I, I gotta do something. Arrow to the knee was like my go to <laughs> at that moment. But, but, but yeah, yeah like, I woke true. up in that recliner. I was like, oh, hell no. This is not happening. You, you know, and I took my, like, dad was asleep. I just took his keys and took his truck home. <laughs> Slip in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> didn't tell nobody I was going anywhere. I was like, I am fuck this shit. So yeah, that was my Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, mine was pretty. I mean, I don't have nowhere near as long as a conversation about that. I drove to Hampton, and uh, my my girl was sick. I'm I'm pretty sure you can hear her coughing in the background. Um, 
Uh, so my girl was sick and uh, she could not go. She just did not feel good at all. Um, but I decided to go and uh, spend the time with my family and bring some food home because we had not planned on cooking. So like the idea of like at some point, like we're going to need to do something about food because neither one of us thought to cook and we were going to go to my cousin's house and then get a whole bunch of food and bring it home. So like, guess what? Now I got to go and get a whole bunch of food and bring it home, um, which I didn't have a problem with. Uh, I went and I spent the time with my family. Uh, I This is my first time at my cousin's house. Uh, and I was like, yo, I got to go see my moms. And like, I was like, fuck, I got to figure out how to get from there, like how to split the time up and all this other stuff. Turns out he lives right around the corner from my mom score for me um like i ain't had to do nothing special so like that was great and i got to see uh, you know i got to see most of my family and went to go chill out with my mom for a few minutes and like and then i drove home here's the problem here's the problem about driving home when you live uh an hour away from where you are during thanksgiving and you have to drive home because you got to work the next day um if you're driving home at 10 o'clock 10 10 30 at night um you kind of get sleepy and I was driving by myself, so it wasn't like I could have a conversation with somebody <laughs> or like do anything. <laughs> so, so basically, what happened was I just found I went and put on a playlist, and I fucking put on just the loudest, most ignorant shit I could possibly fucking find, and I sang it as loud as I possibly could in order to keep myself awake. So basically, I did most of it. Um, singing uh young thugs goo up home on the way home <laughs> on the way home from from Thanksgiving to, so I wouldn't fucking kill myself. Or I wouldn't get into a car accident and kill somebody else. One of the two like I could have really it, it could have been a real bad situation if I would have fucking fell asleep driving home from Hampton at ten thirty at night. On fucking Thanksgiving, but actually the, the traffic was not the traffic was not bad at all. So Run the Jewels is pretty good for keeping you awake too. I've never actually listened to Run the Jewels. I think I tried one time, but I didn't listen to. I, I started it, but it was like it wasn't the first one. Mm. I, and I, I was like, you know, I should probably start from the beginning, and I just never really made it there. Well, it's cool. I mean, it's just like super heavy, like <laughs> rap. I mean. Have you ever? Have you still haven't listened to Little Brother? I, I did. I, I dug it. Like, cause yeah, because that's just, that's like your style of shit. Like, it, they from North Carolina, but they they don't. They, it's not Southern rap. Mm-hmm. It's like it's it's rap rap. Uh, it, it's like your type. It's like your type of shit. Yeah, I dug it. It's pretty good. Oh, Sam. Um, before we get into it, uh, Sam, I saw a one of those Tiny Desk concerts today. I like those. And mm-hmm. but here's the thing. It was Megan the Stallion. Uh, did she knock anything over with that thing? No. Um, tiny Death, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny it's, 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 yeah it's tiny she has to knock some things over with it. Yeah. Um and she just basically did the whole Megan the Stallion thing on the tiny desk. Uh, with the tiny desk. And she had a band with her. And the band was actually pretty decent, but see, here's the thing. Whoever was on the mix, I don't know whether this is like a, some raw video or anything like that, but the mix was way off. You know, because she was rapping and not singing, she wasn't like projecting. She was more, you know, rap. She was more speaking. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a Nelly type of thing where it's like a sing-songy type thing. She raps. Um, so like the mix was off and like there's certain songs where it was way more of like the background music. And like her and the background singer, because she had a back, she had a background singer lady, uh, and then there was a, there was a background singer dude. Um, they kept getting drowned out by the background music, uh, which I hope someone fixes that in post. Um, you know, maybe, you know, uh, hopefully that's, that's something that can be fixed. Um, uh, because I thought it was actually cool, except for the old, the, there's, there's one problem with Megan Thee Stallion. She can wrap her ass off. Uh, and she is definitely a Texan. She's definitely a Texan. Uh, she definitely has that Texan, um, you know, she, she has that, um, early Bun B, um, like rap style. 
her 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 stuff is very bun beat before the coming down H time. Um before before it kind of slowed out a little bit and and Bun B started rapping different. But it was very early Bun B. Um but she doesn't have any subjects. Like she doesn't have any things to rap about. It's just like I like to have sex. He wants to get with me, uh, and he'll give me money and buy me things. And like, and, or, or like, I, I have a lot of money on my own. Like, those are the only subjects he has. She has a whole fucking album with those three subjects. <laughs> I can, mm. I, I can fuck that guy. I like to fuck that guy. Money, 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 money. Whether it's my money or his money, but it's still money. Like, those are the three <laughs> subjects that she has. <laughs> I mean, people are into her. I mean, I don't, I don't know. She can rap. Uh, personally, I think she's skilled. She's very skilled. She can rap her ass off. She just has nothing to talk about. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, I thought and that then, was like, your big thing anyway. <clears throat> you like, you um, like the beats. Yeah, I do. I very much like the beats. And like one one of my favorite songs right now is one of hers because of the beat, um, which is uh, uh, Freak Like Me. Um, but... Um, but like, you know, like it's still like I listen to the beat first. That's not saying I never listen to the lyrics. I just care about the background music more than I care about the lyrics. That doesn't mean I don't care about the lyrics at all. And at some point, like if I'm listening to your album, like I can listen to singles all all day, every day. And like I can just listen to the songs that I like and everything's cool. But if I listen to a whole fucking album, can you vary that shit up for me, please? Like at yeah. least fucking, at least Cardi B had like some shit, like some real shit, like some stuff that was going on where her husband and cheating and stuff like that and like she had songs about that and, and like you know a song about how she was feeling about her life and like everything changed when she got famous and all of this kind of stuff like at least Cardi B was buried in the album like the singles all kind of sound the same but like there's some variance in the album and I need I need Megan Thee Stallion to do some variants in her album, please. Like, I need you to come up with some more topics. So, I know so she's it's kind of like in video games, you like, you want the gameplay to be on lock, and then they come up with a, like a good story, <laughs> you, you know, because if the, if the story's good and then the gameplay is absolute shit, then it, it's not a good game, you know? Well, <clears throat> technically, you, it can still be, if the story is really that good, you can outlast your gameplay, Mass Effect 1. Um, well, Mass Effect 1 is a okay. terrible <laughs> gameplay, <laughs> but I'm talking about, like, if... Like a, like Shooting a in Mass Effect 1 was the drizzling shits. Well. What did you say, Chase? Well, I mean, like, worse than that, like, if, like, if you... Had a really great story bit and it played like I don't know. Brew Force? Yeah. <laughs> that's like my that's like my, I my go think, to I couldn't that's even like think my go to game for this should have been good. <laughs> and it just wasn't. So Alright, so well since we're already talking about video games, um I'm gonna go to y'all, but I'm gonna say this. Um Sam has already heard this, but um in the um the last week, uh, I kn- y'all know I watch a lot of marching band stuff. Um, uh, Jackson State uh, versus Alcorn or Alcorn for the people, the Southern people. They say it's Alcorn, not Alcorn, uh, even though there's only one L. Um, and uh, the Jackson State in the fifth quarter played Giles theme, and it's freaking dope. Like it's super dope, except for it's a little slow. Like, for people who know Galstein, it's a little on the slow side. But it's still fucking dope that they actually did that. Um, and I like, like, when listening to the marching band stuff, when they interject some stuff from, like, video games and stuff like that. Um, like, some of my favorite bands play stuff from, like, Castlevania and all kinds of stuff. It's, like, really, it's, like, really cool, especially from HBCU bands. Um, to see somebody that actually thought to write this out and have a band perform it. Uh, I thought Giles theme was perfect, especially because Jackson states, um, their, 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 their title, their, their name is the Sonic boom of the South. So like, why did no one think to write Giles theme for them before? They so is, that why, is that why they keep repeating Sonic Boom? Because that was a bit. That was a bit oh much. no! The, uh, okay, the 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 person who edited that video kept putting the Sonic. Oh, okay, because that was annoying. 
Yeah, it's no, no, no. The person who edited the video, he said that he got hyped. He said he overdid it a little bit, but he got hyped because the song reminded him of his childhood. So and like, I was like, it was because I thought it was like coming from the band or someone in the band. I'm like, dude, that's not subtle at all. No, it's not. Is that for for people listening? If you ever want to look this up, Killer Kale's video has all of the sonic booms and um. And like, so like Killer Cares video has all of the sonic booms and yes, it can get a little bit on the annoying side, but I just think the fact that they, that they just did the song is just pretty fucking dope. And um, I mean, I played a couple of games, but let's go to y'all first. Um, Chase, what you played dog? I've, um, I've actually been pretty varied. I mean, I've been um, playing some destiny Two, like, a, you know, here and there and <clears throat> been getting a little bit, not really, with Destiny, getting a little frustrated with the whole, like, season thing. Like, it's weird. Like, I thought seasons were supposed to be at least six months, but, like, I'm, like, level 25 or something. There's, like, a hundred levels in the season for, like, the rewards or whatever. And it's, like, three months. It's gonna be over in seven days. I'm like, what the hell? (laughs) But, um... What are you you playing on? Peace. P- well, PC and PS4, but I, I kind of switched back between the two some because of the cross save. Is, is, no, is really nobody playing this on Xbox? Jeez. I did not play on Xbox, but now that I have, um, now that I have, like, I, I, I have the cross save. Yeah. Um, I can play on Xbox and using my same character and be perfectly fucking fine. Yeah. Only, th- I mean, I could play it on Xbox. It's just I don't have plus or gold at the, at the moment. Okay, yeah, I have I have ultimate, so I have the goldens. <laughs> anyway, so like, yeah. so it's that's not a problem. Yeah, I was for me. playing. I, I only had like three months of ultimate, which was fine because I only paid a dollar for it. But then, right. um, but then once it started charging me like sixteen dollars a month, I was like, eh, I think I'm just gonna get the one for PC, which is like four dollars because then that's pretty much where I was playing all the games <laughs> at anyway. And, um, yeah, because you pretty much abandoned your consoles. Yeah, pretty much. I, I mean, I actually, I did buy a couple of games on Black Friday, and um, uh, just on the PlayStation Store, I got God of War and Spider Man because those are two I've been waiting for to go down to where I got God of War for like ten and Spider Man for twenty, so I got them both for thirty bucks, and I thought that was perfectly right in my price range. <laughs> <laughs> my coworker just bought a PS4 just for God of War. Apparently, she's a um, she's uh, she's a God of War fan. I mean, she bought it for her son, but she's a God of War fan. And I keep trying to tell her like this ain't the same God of War. And then like she she tell me that uh, she took uh, the day before Thanksgiving and Black Friday off, so we didn't actually talk about this shit until today. And she was just like, well. Um, can you play the older God of Wars on the PlayStation 4? And I'm like, they remastered 3, 1 and 2? Fuck you. Then you can't play those at all unless you got PlayStation Now. What's PlayStation Now? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's pretty much the conversation that we had today. But I don't know, man. Like, I, I did, I, I haven't popped in Spider Man yet, but, um, I did play a good little chunk of God of War, and that is. Everything that everyone said, like the fucking gameplay on that, is fucking phenomenal. So like, but it's pacing, weird. I it's weird. I know it's weird. Weird. I know it's weird, but Jesus, is it good? <laughs> yeah. Did you did you use the 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 fault control scheme or did you change it? I, I use the default because it's been forever since I played God of War. That um, I, you know, it, it actually feels right for what they were doing, and um. And I was reminding some because we were just talking about God of War with the people in the house, and like, I was like, "Man, you know, it's the best God of War game that's not a God of War game." And I had to tell them about fucking Dante's Inferno, and I fucking love that game. You know, I bought Dante's Inferno one year for a Black Friday deal, and I have never actually played it. I own it, um, and like. I don't know whether I have a PlayStation 3 version or something like that. It was something I, I can't remember, but I know I own Dante's Inferno. I have never actually played that game. Yeah, it's really fun. I, I really dug it, and like it's not in front of the kiddos type game. There, 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 there's some weird shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, heard, I heard there's boobies and such. Yeah, there's boobies with like things coming out of the demonic. 
Yeah. Yeah, de- <laughs> demonic <laughs> movies. No such thing as demonic movies. Come on now. No, these have demonic movies. And no. that's the show title, Demonic Movies. <laughs> but but yeah, I was playing that and um and we also been controller passing on some stuff and it's kind of having some fun, man. It, it's been pretty cool on the gaming front around here, just kind of varying things up. But <laughs> oh, and my brother he, he gifted me um, ESO for which I don't know. I was like, man, I don't know if I can get into another freaking like Destiny like game, but you know, I, I'll play with you, man. But you say he, he gifted you what? Uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh ESO. no. For- no, fuck that. Yeah, so. yeah I, didn't, I didn't know what the acronym was. Well, that? <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. Uh, Chase does. Well, I, I mean, it's either going to be like Elder Scrolls Online until you, every time you say it, <laughs> you know. Or you could just say ESO like a regular fucking person. Or. <laughs> I'm surprised, like, which, which your, your affinity for, like, Skyrim and shit like that, I'm surprised you don't play that. I, I've just heard how, how, like, different it is. It's more like it's. More traditionally RPG with like a MMO type. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I have, I have so like, I really like Skyrim. I should play this. No, nigga, this it's is nothing like, it's nothing, it's, like, it's nothing like Skyrim. It's, it's more win again. Like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, um, well, I do know that when, when he gifted it, like, it was like $20 for. That is, I just added to the title of the show. I just want you to put, I just put demonic boobies in Morrowind. Like, I just, I just (laughs) added that. Like, it felt right. It felt right. But, but yeah, it was $20 and it came with like all the content, like including the new one. There's been a ton of releases, like Morrowind release, and I think there's going to be a release with dragons pretty soon. Yeah. This newest newest one was Elsewhere, which is where the. Oh, Elsewhere. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the latest one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one with the with the cat people with the kajits. Yeah, so, I don't um, know about none of this shit. So I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be over here. Um, but, when, but when, Ch- when Chase is finished, Sam, you can go. I, I mean, it seems to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get into the grind of it. But if I mean, I'm totally down. I'm down to play fucking Call of Duty if there's a group to have some fun. You know what I mean? But um, it's just fun at the damn time, man. <laughs> just, yeah, I'm with you there. I've, 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 I got some I got some games slid in, but it's all about the time. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically been it, man, for gaming. Okay, Sam. So I uh, I didn't really played much. I got back into uh, uh, Skyrim on Xbox because I've not I have not com- completed one hundred percent the uh, the special version the uh, the Xbox. The uh, current gen editions, you know what I mean? Like the new ones that they came out with a few years ago. I yeah. never finished either one of them. So I was like, okay, well, let me finish this. I'm on the very last DLC, the one where you basically fight. Uh, you basically go up, go up against the opposite of your, your, op- your, your basically evil self. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the does, person who has the same power as you. Huh? Does oh, he, he, has, he has a mask, so I don't, you never see his mask. <laughs> Does it, is there a goatee on, is there a goatee outline on the mask? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Cause he's an evil youth now. <laughs> no, no, he, dude basically has the same powers as you. Oh, demonic boobies on, in Morrowind with goatees. <laughs> so, uh, he's basically, like, okay, he saw, he saw the, the, the Matrix, the, the sequels, right? Uh huh. You know how like the Merovingian, I actually like the sequels. Like the Merovingian is basically like just evil, uh, evil Neo. Basically, it's, it's it's basically it's that. It's okay. basically a continuation. Like it's it, you basically go all in with the with the Merovingian story because like the dude has his own crew on his own little cell- settlement, uh, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna go fuck some shit up, <laughs> and he takes over like an entire an entire uh, country. But does and he so look, it's your, it's your when you say he has on a mask? I was about to say, does he look like your character? But he has on a mask. So never no, mind. he 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 talks a lot of no. Like the first time of, upon meeting him, he basically makes you uh, basically bend the knee, and uh, yeah, he just talks shit to you the whole time, and you're basically frozen. Why minions just go at you? Did they do the same? Now, who did it first? Was it Mass Effect or was it them? Oh, it, it was must have been. Well, which Mass Effect was it? In Mass Effect Three, the Citadel DLC, like spoiler alert, uh, you end up uh, going against an evil version of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just depends on the dates because I, I know this was part I, of the original. Well, I the, think it's, it's the last DLC they came out with. Yeah, but I think that came out around the same time. 
Yeah, he basically, send, he basically he sends you back to where you can He sends you back because you're you're on another dimension, I guess, when you come to when you visit him at the, for the first time. And so you have to. Uh, I don't know. I got really heated after that, so I started. I started toning up, and I started. I started getting. I started leveling up all my, uh, all my uh, perks and everything. You know, basic. You know, you're so, gonna need a montage. Yeah, it was like a montage of me, like you know, destroying shit, setting fire to things. You know, practicing, sneaking. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm I love up, that. Uh, that, that take part. care. Of the part in that DLC to where it like is the um, the mushroom area and stuff, like it really got me nostalgic for like the some of the areas in like Morrowind. And stuff. Yeah, well, that, that's that's because you're in Morrowind in yeah. that part. Yeah, a different part of Morrowind. You never actually went. You never actually. I don't think that's a place you been. You were in in Morrowind in the game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's basically like an island. Uh, the island's still attached to Morrowind, but kind of like a weird sand, a sandy area. Mm-hmm. So it's basically like a desert, but he has his own dimension that you can visit by opening up these black books, and uh, it sucks you in, and you have to you have to. I mean, I've played it before on the original console, on the original. Oh, I got it. Demonic boobies and more when with goatee suck you in. <laughs> well, what about? So yeah, like it, it's, what a, about it's a pretty more- good fight when you actually do get to get to fight him. But I'm not there yet. I'm. It's that DLC was massive. That was a massive DLC because even when I played it the first time, there was, I did not get to finish everything. Right. I do uh, like that there were, that there's a you see Twister, right? Of course. There's a Twister reference. Wow. <laughs> there's a, when you go to one of the bars, he talks about this creature called the Niche. And uh, okay, so in Twister, they talk about like the Twister that like uh, what's his name's character went up against, and he's like, when he saw the Twister, he went up to it with a bottle. And he threw the bottle in and he said, hey, have a drink. And the bottle never hit the floor. So that was us from Twister, right? So, like, in, in Skyrim, they say the same, a similar story. He's like, he went up against the niche and he threw his bottle and said, hey, have a drink. And the bottle never hit the floor. Oh, it's <laughs> kind of the same way that um, that both um, True Blood and Full Metal Jacket have the same story. There's a there's a story that's told in both that's well that that happens in Full Metal Jacket, but there's a story that's told in um in in True Blood. That's the exact same fucking oh, really? story. Something like that, but it's basically like a tongue in cheek reference. Yeah, it, it's just a little funny thing. And then like there's also another one of the one of the inns in the in the game has the same name as one of the uh, motels that you sleep in. No, that uh that uh. Freaking Steve Martin and John Candy sleep in in the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Okay, it's like a it's like a it's like a little reference. I know the movie. I don't think I've ever seen it that I can remember. Yeah, I think it's the motel where like they wake up and his hand his hand is like wedged between his ass or something. What? He's like yeah. Well, they wake up and and they're spooning. I, I, like I said, I've never seen the movie. So. Okay, on your side. Okay, they they wake up and they're spooning. And uh, he's like, "Where's your hand? Between two pillows." Those are pillows. <laughs> oh, uh, it's like it's like the uh, me myself and Irene when he just wakes up and it's like, why am I peeing like I I, I had sex all night? <laughs> and then it was like, and you with this dildo? She was like, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what I was doing. I, I'm basically bulking up in order to fight this dude because he pissed me off. He he made he beat me bend the knee. Okay. Uh, you got you got anything else real quick? Because I think we might have to cut this after uh, for, for after games talking to games. Um, unless we go really fast when we go to what we're watching. But uh, for games, I'll just I'll just be real fast. Um, I play a, a pretty decent amount of Spellcaster University. Um, I went back to Banished. Uh, I, saw, I saw a new guy starting um, to play Banished in Colonial Charter, um, and I was just kind of like. I'm kind of interested, so I pulled back out and I started playing Banished again. Um, I thought it was weird because, like, my one of my on my friends list on Xbox, there's somebody that I don't talk to very much that has been playing a lot of Banished. But since I don't talk to this person, I don't want to just show up and be like, "Hey, you've been playing Banished? I love that game!" Like, but like we don't talk, so like I don't know what I don't know how to approach the conversation. So I just like refrain, um, and then <laughs> I finally. I finally started playing 2K. Like, really started oh, playing okay. 2K. How is it? I ended up having to buy some VC. Like, I had to. 
Like, I, I was too terrible. I'm not good at the game. Like, I'm not good at the game at all. So I had to buy some virtual currency. I had a, I had a gift card from like fucking Father's Day, uh, for, for Amazon. So I like used that. It was like a $10, uh, uh, gift card. And then, so I bought the, like the $20 level that was on sale for a little bit. So I spent $7 of my own money with that gift card that I wasn't really going to use for anything. Uh, and, and I bought some virtual currency so that I wouldn't be ass. And I'm still a little bit on the ass side, but I'm less ass than I was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I like, I, I'm, I'm, I can actually hit a shot now. And like, I, it, I feel like I, I can actually play the game, which is like saying a lot when it comes to 2K. Um, but, uh, as of right now, I play for the, I play for the, well, you Lakers. have to think if they, um, actually designed it that way. <laughs> I mean, of course, of course, they designed it that way because, like, from the very beginning, from the very beginning, you the like they don't let you play that much before you start going through all of the combine stuff and like trying to figure out how to like be a fucking professional. They don't let you. You don't get to play that much because it's all a part of the story. Um, so, like, when you first start playing the game, like you're you're when you're a college student, like you play like part of one game, and like then the other part, then something happens in that one game. You never play in college ever again. Then like you go to like these tournaments and stuff like that and part of it is like the story mode so they let you play a little bit and then when it's time to like try to get to be an NBA player they make you do all of this combine bullshit and like you have to do all of that like the lifting the weights and uh, running the 40 and like all of the like like uh, moving around the shuttles and all that kind of stuff they make you do all of that shit and I'm just like yo I don't want to do a fucking part of any of this but they make you do it and you don't have a choice until like you don't have a choice until you um unless unless you just straight up want to skip it which you don't get like I mean at the time I did I still hadn't bought the VC yet so like so do I just kind of skip out on all this VC that I'm getting uh, I mean the little bit of VC that I'm getting in order for me to just like be more prepared to buy some um, at the time I was still trying to be defiant but like as I sat down to play the game I didn't want to be defiant anymore I was like fuck it I'm just going to put some money on this um, but like I I just I I feel like it sucks because like I, I kind of feel like how um, Madden players feel where like this is the only thing out there uh, like I don't have an alternative here because live you know live canceled their their game this year uh, and I don't have an alternative and that fucking sucks because I would really like to be able to play live I had a lot more fun with live I have it on two consoles two and I actually bought them. I bought them on sale. But I actually bought them even though I do have EA Access. I still bought it. You know, for like ten dollars. But <laughs> but I still bought it. And uh and then I bought it for like six dollars on um on PlayStation. Just because. I don't even fucking play my PlayStation. But I like the game so much I bought it there too. Um, but I don't have a choice and I kind of feel like I, I don't know, I kinda feel like a sucker. Because, like, I was just like, yo, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna fucking take the, uh, I'm not gonna pay no money. And then just like, well, I really wanna play the game. And the only way I'm gonna be able to play the game decently is to, is to spend a little bit of extra money. And then they, they do some fuck shit this year. They, all right, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, somebody, somebody told me that, like, usually if you have virtual currency, that virtual currency is a pool that any of your characters, or, like, if you're doing a dynasty, you're coaching, and all that kind of stuff, all of that stuff can tap into. Not any fucking more, because if you have virtual currency on the current character, that virtual currency, if you start a new character, does not transfer over. So, like, if you fuck your character up in, like, like the wrong settings or some shit like that, you gotta start over, and if you have to pay, you gotta pay all over again. Dang. 
And even though I do have, I do still have some virtual currency left. And like all of the accessories and stuff that I buy, because I usually wear, I, I usually rock at least one arm sleeve. Like th- none of that stuff transfer over. It used to be like if you buy an arm sleeve, all of your characters can use that same arm sleeve. Not any fucking more, which is bullshit. So they, th- so they just trying to get you, which is which is stupid because like I really wish Live would just update their game and put in all of the rookies, so I can just fucking get rid of this two K shit and never have to go back to it again. But they won't do it, and that sucks. All right, are we gonna try to talk about what we've been watching? Like we got like we got like fifteen twenty minutes. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I've been I watching think, a lot. So yeah, yeah, I think we should like. Um, talk about watching next week when we might have a little bit more time, and we can go ahead and talk about how. Our... I thought we're not doing a show next week, Mister. We we should no. go every two weeks. No, I mean I meant next time that we do a show, but um, because I was going oh, to get we can... talk about oh, how our game night and stuff, and try to get some people to play with us. Okay, um, I um. Yeah, I'm, I'm, only thing I've been watching is a whole bunch of Disney Plus stuff. Anyway, um, and, and you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it because there's no reason to talk about it. But I totally watched the whole season of Inhumans. Which one was that? The 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 TV oh, show the, they got the fake X Men. Yeah, the, that that promptly got fucking canceled. Like, yeah, like quick with the quickness. Yeah, uh, yeah, I watched that shit because it was on Disney Plus. Um, but yeah, all right. So, um, uh, so Runaways um, is on is on Disney Plus too, I think. Yeah, I saw that, but that got canceled too. The next, the season is getting ready to come out, <laughs> and that's the last season. It's over. Yeah, and, uh, I didn't see I didn't see Cloak and Dagger though. It's just a shield ain't coming back till like the summertime. Yeah. It's it, it's uh, the the crazy part about it is like with all of the like really good Marvel TV shows like really really good ones like the Netflix ones, Agents of Shield is the one that lasted. Like Agents of fucking Shield is the one and, that and they never expected to go past like three seasons or four seasons, right? And, and like, like their storylines reflected because it's like you think it's gonna you think this is it this is the end. No, we're gonna go another season. Okay, let's finish it out. No, we're gonna go another season. I'm like, well, what the hell? Right, it's weird that 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 is the one that lasted. They, these motherfuckers that went to the future, all kinds of shit. <laughs> Bro, they, they were they were on another pla- they were they were on another dimension. They were like on an ice planet. Yeah, they, they went into a, they went into virtual reality. Come on, yeah, like, like left. Yeah, they went to virtual reality when the Nazis won. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> really, like if you could do that, like fuck it, let's just do anything. Well, technically, Hydra won, but Hydra was like a Nazi spinoff group. Um, but um, but yeah, so I watched I watched a little bit. We, should, uh, I'm you know what I might actually record a little something and put that up, um, talking about what I've been watching because I I really want to talk about uh, the Inhumans uh, and like because there's some shit about the Inhumans that's like for real, for real. Like, did y'all just not have a budget? <laughs> like did, did, the, did the budget just get cut? Like, like because there's like two characters who have a power, and early on in the season, that power gets taken away, and it never really comes back. Man, like there's people, there's some people who are. What are people mad about Legends of Tomorrow that somebody got taken out or something? The internet's really been stirring over this. Somebody um, in Legends of Tomorrow got got, and it was and it, apparently it happened in a really stupid way. Um, Legends of the, Legends of Tomorrow. I know um, what you call is supposed to be leaving the show. Um, Ray is supposed to be leaving the show. You know, like uh, so I never watched the show, but but like, but I saw but, the clip of when the person dies, and everybody's like, "What the fuck?" And I don't, I don't know what what are y'all mad about. Yeah, Brandon Brandon Ralph was supposed to be um, leaving the show, so maybe he died. But no, last it was month? a woman. It was a woman. She saved everybody. Uh, she. Some some scaffolding or something was falling on everybody, and she saved them. But the electric current killed her. I don't know because like Legends of Tomorrow ain't been on in uh, quite some time. Was it Legends of Tomorrow? It was something. It was one of those DC shows. Yeah, it, people yeah. were just upset. They were mad. They were like, the the goddess of whatever, whatever, should not be taken out by fucking electricity. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Unless it's something that happened on Supergirl, because I just gave up on Supergirl. I just can't do it. Well, what's that? 
It's the one that had Nightwing, you know, because I see Nightwing on there. Oh, no, no, that's that's a that's not a CW. That's not one of the CW shows. Oh, that's the, or is that the that's, DC show? The DC that's one of the DC show. That's Titans. Oh, oh, show. yeah, okay, that's what it was. Then. Okay, so yeah, so that's that's the, some not some shit I'm on. Even though I really like some of the, I okay. really like the idea of the show. I never watched it because I wasn't about to buy another fucking app. So, all right, I think I think we're good here. Um, next week. We are in, in the place of the show. We are going to be doing a game night. Are we playing more Destiny or are we playing some Killing Floor? Um, we, we can come up with that, like, um, more closer to the show, but we're, I mean, we'll pretty much play, um, are you all doing one. this on PC or you gotta tell people? We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to be playing on PC because, uh, Chase doesn't buy his, uh, subscriptions. Okay. We'll get ready for it to be you two and like one other person. If the other person shows up. <laughs> Well, I, well I mean, we've been Destiny... playing the last the last couple of times we've been playing the fuck out of Destiny and we've been having a ball. So like it might be Destiny. I, I'm I've been having a ball playing like the old content that I missed out on. on no, Destiny. no, there's like you can cross do your your character, but you can, there's no actual cross play, right? There's no cross no. play, but um... there's no cross play. But you like if you have a character on like Xbox or something like that, you yeah. Because I was able to because I got the this. I had the a long time ago. I got the Destiny Forsaken. Like for like twenty bucks, and then I lost it, and I found it recently, and then I popped it in, and I was able to transfer my PS4 character over to that. They let they let you do that for Destiny One for a second. Is no, it was Destiny Two? It was the whatever that. What's that last one? What's that one that came out? Uh, yeah, Forsaken Destiny Two Forsaken Legendary Collection. It's Destiny Two the the two expansions and Forsaken. I bought this. I bought this a while back when it was on sale for like twenty bucks. And I never got to play it, and I barely cracked it open like a few days ago. Hold oh, on. The Forsaken yeah, content think... is really good. I I really enjoyed that one. So yeah, I was able to upload my uh, my PS4 character. Yeah, I thought the Forsaken, un- unless they made another Forsaken, I thought Forsaken is Destiny One. That, that was Taken right King. Destiny. You're probably thinking about. You're probably thinking about Taken. Right, I'm tripping. I'm I'm tripping. It's me. Uh, but yeah, man. I, um, but yeah, so 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 Monday night we'll be playing in 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 lieu of the show we'll be playing more than likely we'll be playing some Destiny. And if you like, if you want us, if you want us to start over, like if you never played Destiny, you want us to start over. I'll start a new character. I want to get rid of my hunter anyway because I don't like that bitch. Mm-hmm. Straight up, straight up, I fucking hate hunters. It's warlock supremacy all fucking day long. Warlocks all day. Warlocks. <laughs> No, but yeah, uh, if anybody has, um, if, if, you, if you want to play on, if you want to play on, on Xbox sometime, or if you have it on Xbox, just holler at your boy. I mean, well, it's I mean, free every, now. Yeah, yeah all, all the it, year one. Content all the platforms is free. Is free. Like oh. it's, it's all it's all free except for like the newest content. You just pay into that, and yeah. like, but like all of the all of like the old expansions and shit like that. It's all free on every no, or, or no, every platform. The only thing that's not free no, is not, Forsaken and the newest one. But Freedom all the, free chase. All, all the um, year now one it's a hefty fucking thing. Why does Team America not get the props it deserves? Like Team America should be like in the annals of Caddyshack. Like you, like we should. It, they Caddyshack and Team America World Police should be on the same level as reverence of like how great a fucking movie it was. Hmm. I'm guessing y'all don't believe me. Like y'all not on, y'all not with me on this. You never seen Team America World no. Police? No, I, I'm like I've seen all the clips and I've seen all the quotes and everything. I'm like that sounds and looks really stupid. I'm sorry. No, it's beautiful because like most of it is how like stupid Americans see the world. And like and like it is like uh it's like those those kind of 80s movie clichés. Um like it's all it's all there. Like in the fucking montage song that I said earlier today, it's you know I me mean? like it's the fucking. You have to watch Team America. It, it was on Netflix, but you have to watch it. Don't watch it with the kiddos around though. <laughs> There's some things that are oh, wow. not kiddo friendly. But, uh, yeah, even with puppets. <laughs> but yeah, even with puppets. It's- Okay. All right. So, um, if, if if nobody has anything else, no, um, actually, thank you all for checking. I have a really really quick thing. Uh, what do you got? Was well, just uh, texting with the uh, with our, our our man Q. Q says hello. What's up, dog? Yeah. So he, hopefully he listens to this and he, and he can, you know, he's a uh, he, he's getting better. Hopefully. He, he's, hopefully he'll be he'll be back at one hundred percent. 
soon. Yeah. I know he's been going to games and stuff again. Like, hopefully he get back to it and, like, you know, because that's his life. Calling games and stuff like that and, and hopefully get his internet shit situated and then he can actually do some podcasts. Oh, yeah, because, like, sometimes I'll text him and then I won't hear back. I'm like, well, screw you, Q. And then he's like, oh, yeah, my internet's just been spotty. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's... I mean, he, he lives in the town where the fucking... <laughs> he lives in the town where the fucking Dylan Panthers. Like... <laughs> 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 it was one of those times. Oh, I just I just started watching. Um, well, my girl started watching a thing called Good Girls, and uh, Matt Saracen is like a father. He's like he's like a grown ass really? man. I haven't like, seen that dude since Friday Night Lights. Yeah, for real. Uh, so Matt Saracen is like a father, and I'm just like, yo, this is fucking crazy. And then like you know, t- like uh, what's her name, Tara. Oh, was Sarah, it, she was she was she was, of Shield. she was the Agents of Shield. We were just talking about that yeah. shit, but like, um, and then like your boy was supposed your boy was supposed to be Gambit, and I don't know whatever happened with that. Did he actually oh, become Gambit? Uh, back, yeah. Did yeah, he ever? Did he ever become? No, Gambit? I don't think he ever did that. No. Fuck, man, he never became Gambit. Like, yeah, nah, but, I but, Tara, Tara's character in Agents of Shield, she just dipped. Like things things started getting hot, and she was like, "Hey, I'm out." Yeah, we got burned. Like we're out. Like fucking. <laughs> see y'all later. And then they never came back. Yeah, that, that was just kind of weird. But um, all right. So where did, where did Chase go? Is he gone? I'm here. I was just um, huh. I just got up to. So, um, so yeah, hope, so hopefully Q can come back and because our podcasting again. Hold on, wait. He did actually. Yes, uh, we we hope that Q can get back so we can do that. But he actually did play Gambit, but it was on the worst X Men movie. And when he played Gambit on uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh God, really? He played. He actually played Gambit, and apparently, he, it, you know that that movie was terrible uh, in itself. I actually um, like the second one, the one where he goes to Japan. I don't think I've seen the second one. That was the double that sounds, Wolverine. That right? sounds like a premise it's of a right. Ernest movie. <laughs> I like the second one, the one where he goes to Japan. It's like a premise <laughs> to an <laughs> Ernest movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine scared straight. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> jail. Yo, yo, this dude played in Battleship. All right, well, I'm gonna get too deep into this, but he played in Battleship. They fucking put Rihanna in Battleship, so you know that's you the know only Battleship. reason I wanted to see it. That's the only reason I wanted to see it. For real, they put fucking Rihanna in Battleship, and like Rihanna played in that other fucking movie, the weird movie. Um, oh, the, 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 the ship movie, the, the space movie, or whatever. The yeah, movie. The, she was a yeah, hologram chick or something. The Valerian or whatever the yeah. fuck, like Venereal. Um, Venereal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she played in Venereal. Um, <laughs> I ain't shit for that. <laughs> I'm not shit for that at all. That should be the show title. I should call it Venereal. Venereal. <laughs> she played in Venereal. <laughs> I hate me right now. But, um... <laughs> Uh, I, I gotta write that down before I forget. She, she played in um, the Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't laughed like that in quite some time. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <sighs> gotta close the show. Gotta close the show. I was supposed to close the show ten minutes ago. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Chase is playing with his pussy. Oh. Now he's showing his pussy to the camera. <laughs> Tell me what that uh, thing smell like. Uh, <laughs> Remember that from there. <laughs> The VC. That's uncut. Uncut, That's yeah. Uncut. <laughs> Chase, what that thing smell like? <laughs> I'm pussy. Clean. It's clean. Oh my god, I hate me right clean. now. I really hate me right now. Okay, hold on. I gotta close the show. <laughs> it's gotta clean. Close the show. <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> 
<laughs> Veneero. Um, <laughs> uh, which has a strange connection to pussy. But, um, <laughs> I can't stop myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, um, in, in the midst of all of this laughter, I hope Chase cuts all of this shit out when he edits the show. But if he doesn't, um, man, I hope y'all had a laugh with us because that was funny. I don't know why it was so funny, but it was funny nevertheless. Uh, thank you for, uh, checking in to, uh, Scarcasm, um, episode of Venereal. And, uh, for the homie, I'm, I'm, ca- I'm calling it Venereal. I'm putting the demonic movies in more one. I uh, would go would go to set you in. I'm putting that as like the alternate show title, but Venereal is the name of the show, like 100. Um, percent Or Chase plays with his pussy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so for the homies Chase and the homies Sam, uh, this is Scarcasm. We really appreciate y'all listening. Um, and we we love doing this for y'all, and we hope that y'all come out for like the game nights and stuff like that. And if you have a suggestion of something that we should play, um, do that. Um, I have, I have, I have, uh, I have a suggestion for how we should go about the show a little bit later, but, um, that's going to be a conversation for another time. Um, and, but we'll tell you once, once everything gets worked out. So again, thank you very much for uh, listening to, um, us ramble on and giggle into the microphones. Um, yeah, for the homies, Scarcasm, out of here. Peace out to the Warriors, yo. Mordor. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, whoa. I'm telling. All right, I ain't gonna talk.